the, the attitude of Mr. Total Sup himself, Mr. Machu Astier. What a great afternoon's racing we've got in front of us, Machu. Yes, indeed, Ross. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the last afternoon of racing here in Jom Chen Beach, Pattaya, Thailand. It's a bit of an emotional moment, isn't it, Ross? It's been five days of non-stop sub racing action. We started with a sprint competition in Rayong, 20 kilometers away from here. Then we had the long distance three days ago. And today, the technical race, we've got our first B final of the day in the Master 50 plus women's field with on your screen, Polona Pustia from Slovenia. We had Maria Williams from Australia just before that. Here's Natalie. Pere Grestova from the ICF. Kirsty McMillan from Canada. He is also from Canada. Montreal. Wendy Tillett. Li Rong Xia from China in lane, seven, uh, lane eight. We've got Christina Funk from Germany. Here's uh, Trudy Leal or Trudy Lyle from uh, New Zealand. We've been saying Leal the whole week. Wanlaya Les Vasana from Thailand. Annie Smith, of course, from Great Britain. We uh, missed Giping Wang from uh, China in lane one. And Evlampia Tsiru from Greece in uh, lane number two. No qualification now. It's all about uh, ranking is, uh, in the best uh, position. This is uh, the race to finish ninth. Let me tell you, uh, it is no mean feat. Look at they're just pointing out where the line is. Don't pretend you don't know where it is, ladies. Yeah, I can see you pretending you don't know where it is. <laughs> Everyone can see it. Come on, get behind the line. Uh, this is the race for ninth, 10th, all the way down to 16th position. It's been a big week. It's been a long week for all these paddlers. They desperately would love to finish with a win here in this B final and we're underway, Matthew Estier. Good run start. by Wendy Tillett on the Sonova board there. She is the first in action on the Sonova. Another Sonova is following up. She's got the total advisor had the winning hatch, but she falls down. That's Polona Puslia from Slovenia falling far away from her board. Christina Funk looking good Do in second position from Germany behind the Canadian. Whoa! Do you Off think, to a uh, flying start, Wendy Tillett. Do you think there's a design fold in the total sup hat there that uh, maybe it uh, caused her to lose her balance and to fall in? She will not be happy with you making let's, her wear uh, that hat. Let's hope not. She was. Uh, she had a pretty good start and she fell really far away from her ball, actually. The good, uh, the good news for you, Matthew, is it looks like she's managed to keep her hat on. So uh, there'll be more shameless publicity for total sup throughout this race. But look out in front, the Canadian... Wendy Tillett, she's flying out into the, uh, the the lead early on, putting a bit of daylight between herself and... Uh, Christina Funk from Germany Christina in second Funk. place right now. We have a starboard in third. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that is just yet. Is that Kirsty McMillan? Oh, and she's, oh. she's going oh, down. Oh, and we're going to see blocking Ka Kirsty McMillan. What's happening The there? Canadian blocked by another starboard. Is and I right think we've got Li Rong Chia on a, on a Sonova uh, in uh, in third place right now. Wendy Tillett has just done the widest turn you could ever imagine on that first second boy there. So, but she's around safely in front. And sitting it's actually one layer. Let's Vasana now in uh, in third place behind uh, Wendy Oopsie Tillett, oh my the goodness. Canadian, and uh, Christina Funk. Uh, from Germany, one and two. Who's got the third place in this uh, first B final of the day in the 50 plus women's? But Wendy Tillett looking looking strong, huh? From Montreal on that son of a board. Looking That's the um, the all water board, the ocean board by uh, by Sonova. She's well out in front, uh, looking very very comfortable. How was your lunch, Matthew? Did you do anything? Uh we didn't have long. We only hardly, had an hardly any lunch, actually. I just uh, did you squeeze in a quick massage? Again, no, you're not even. For the not week. even. Just a quick swim. Just quick swim to, uh, in the yeah, pool or in, in the, the pool? ocean? In the pool. In have the, you uh, swam in the ocean yet? No, I haven't. Come on, man. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not too keen on on that. That's I've got fine. a flight to, to catch I early in Bangkok tomorrow at 9 a.m. Doesn't mean you can't go for a swim today, bro. That is the so weakest excuse that I have ever heard. <laughs> You're not going swimming in the ocean because you've got a 9 a.m. flight tomorrow morning from Bangkok. Well, I just don't want to get 
was even even sicker on that plane. That's yeah. that's that's hey, why. Look at me. I've been <laughs> swimming every morning, and look how healthy I am. Huh? A little bit <laughs> cross-eyed. I'm just a little bit cross-eyed. Speaking a little bit of gibberish, but uh, other than that, perfectly normal. Christina. Wendy Tillett, miles out in front. Christina Fank in second. second. Christina, like Kirsty, sorry, Kirsty McMillan in fourth. We've got the ICF no, third. rep. She's third, I think, Kirsty Natalie, McMillan. yeah, in third. And Natalie Perekrestova in fourth right now. Whoops, a daisy, We've another swimmer. Whoa, come on, guys, stay on that board. One layer, Let Vasana from Thailand moving into fourth. I think that's is it, or fifth? Uh, fifth, I think. Fifth place. So finishing ninth. Potentially, we are going to have two laps in this uh, in this B final. So finishing lap number one and looking pretty strong, far away from her challengers, Wendy Tillett from Montreal, Canada, on a son of a board, coming down here for the first portage. It's two laps. Oh, that board is heavy sometimes. Not yes. only heavy, but also uh, stuck to the to the water. Yeah, of course. Now, let's see. We've seen a few athletes have stacks trying to get back on their boards. Wendy Tillett, though, she is a, ooh, she's a professional. She is up and away in the, uh, the second lap. Right behind her, it is the tall German, Christina Funk. And then a bit of a race now for third. Kirsty McMillan is there at, oh, what's happened there? Somebody's lost their boat. Yeah, they? the ICF uh, athletes. Uh, Natalie Perekrestova, who's losing uh, control of a board there. And then a In big a race there for, uh, for fourth, fourth and fifth. Look at this here. There's a real... Uh, I haven't seen the total sub hat uh, for a little while. Where's the total sub hat gone? It's at the back. Unfortunately, um, uh, Polona Puslia did start really well, but after 10 strokes, she just fell really far away from her board. She had to swim to recover her board. I think that hat just weighing her down maybe a little bit or getting in her eyes or, I mean, <laughs> is it waterproof? <laughs> Was the hat waterproof or? Yeah, uh, yeah I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you guess so. <laughs> we'll yeah. have to ask Polona afterwards. Hey, if Polona. you put it out in the sun for it to dry, then it's all well, waterproof. And, <laughs> and, well, she's out in the sun, and uh, so maybe it's dry now. But maybe this, maybe look, I'm not suggesting that it's made from cheap quality. But maybe the dye is running out of the hat and running into her eyes, and making it difficult for it to see which way she's going. <laughs> Having said that, uh, if you want to look like one of the most fashionable people on the beach. Get yourself a total sup hat, and I went online last night. They've got some very nice uh, t-shirts as well, and uh, all sorts of other excellent uh, merchandise. Well, you know, as uh, as as Joe Cocker puts it, you can leave your hat on, no, no, Russ. Or uh, it's even better if yes it's a can. total sub visor hat. Or as Paul Young once sang, <laughs> "Wherever I lay my hat, that's my home." And <laughs> so <laughs> let's let's see what's going on here. Uh, All right, Christina Fank in second behind Wendy Tillett from Canada. So we've got Canada and Germany in that first final B of the day. We've got in third another Canadian, that's Kirsty McMillan. And I think uh, online, by the way, if you want to drop us a message, uh, have a comment, tell us who you're supporting, where you're watching from, uh, if you've got any feedback for Matthew and myself, uh, then hop online. I think Mark is a... Uh, Mark is a T-Rex fan. He says, uh, come on, get it on, get it on, bang a gong. Mark Bolan and T-Rex. Do you know who Mark Bolan is? Do you, have you heard of Mark Bolan? Do you know Mark uh, Bolan and no. T-Rex? Oh, my God. I don't. Sorry. Okay. Uh, also, sorry, he's uh, cheering for the Funk Master, who's currently sitting in second position, the Funkster. Uh Up mm. the Canucks, says uh, Mark. He's uh, going for the Canadians, and uh, looks like the Moose... He wants to know if the total sup has a fa uh, hat is a fast hat. Well, on available evidence, Moose, it would seem not. Now, I don't know how accurate this is, but I can see only 70 uh, viewers live uh, on with us on that, um, on that webcast. That's a very surprising low number. So you know what? Help us out here. Make sure that you get that uh, stream. Although what I will say uh, is it's, it, it's pretty early in Europe, isn't it? It like is pretty early, but we had uh, numbers reaching uh, over the... Uh, uh, for for uh, watching simultaneously. It's, uh, just More than 500 people watching, and this mm. is definitely a big afternoon of sub racing with the, the final days, final races of the, of the 2023 25 to 7 worlds. Central European time on a Sunday morning. A lot, of, uh, a lot of sub fans, a lot of true sub fans will just be getting ready to go to church probably. That's why they 
haven't been able to tune in just yet. But uh, let's have a look here at the finish. And uh, yes, Wendy Tillett, she's been out there by herself since the get-go. Just coming in now. So she will officially finish ninth. Which is not a bad effort. Top 10, I reckon, is uh, something you could be pretty proud of. Well, you should be proud of just competing. Let's be honest about it. Well done, Wendy. Coming in to cross the finish line now. Wendy Tillett, a big smile and a leap. And oh, I thought she was going to do a cartwheel there for a moment, which would have been very exciting. But uh, Wendy Tillett is our B final winner. And now coming in in second place. Ooh, tricky little move there. But that is uh, the Funkster. Christina Funk. Oh, good race for third here between uh, Kirsty McMillan and our ICF paddler, Natalia Parekstrova. But it is going to be Kirsty McMillan takes third. Natalia is fourth. Well done, ladies. Fantastic end to what has been a very, very tough week for sure. So uh, well done to everybody. Such a good effort to come out in the middle. Here this comes is, I mean, the Tolosa Weiser hat. Is, the hat. Is that the Tolosa Weiser hat? Polona Puslia from Slovenia. Polona, if only you had a sensible hat, you could have gone much faster. But uh, she's fourth. 